Hello World Wide Web, I'm Dr. Shadow Eater, personality of best hair, and it's time to check out the teaser trailer for the new Predator movie, the prequel Predator movie, Prey. Now, there are some interesting things to say about this right away. Number one, you're probably wondering, Decker, you talked about the Predator a ton on your channel. Why have you not bothered to mention anything about this? This was first released like two weeks ago. Well, the simple answer is that I watched it and I enjoyed the teaser and I didn't think at all to make a video about it because I generally have not just tried to jump on whatever is the most recent trend the time and throw something together as quickly as possible. But hey, we need a second video for today, so here it is. Now they don't show all that much in this teaser. It opens up with a overhead shot of a forest with a woman running with a tomahawk away from a presumed threat until she is pulled down in the tall grass by a warrior. Now the cynic in me is saying it's probably a lot easier to hide from something in dark woods than it is out in the middle of an open field, but let's just assume we're going by video game rules here, in that a dense forest, things can see you from miles away, but crouch in the tall grass and you're all good. Now clearly we're dealing with Native Americans here as he pulls a bow on whatever it is that is stalking them from the woods, only for blow, three laser lights to appear. And this is a thing where it looks cool, it's the first part in the teaser that reveals, yes, we're looking at a new Predator movie. But it does remind me a bit of the trailers for Predators, where Adrian Brody's character was shown with a whole ton of Predator lasers on him, and while that scene with him standing there with the Predator lasers on him did exist, not quite to that same degree in the final product. They didn't face quite that many Predators, but it was to kind of set forth the idea that there would be a lot of Predators that they would be facing in that movie, which was true. So I'm not sure if this scene is necessarily going to play out exactly the same in the final product, or if this has been slightly modified for the purposes of the teaser to drive that point home. But we can assume at some point in the movie it didn't end all that well for him because he doesn't appear for the rest of the teaser, it's just the lady that we saw who is faced off against a predator cloaking, so he still can't really see them and exactly what's going on there. Now, that is of note because we don't know what kind of predators we're dealing with here. Used to not really be that much of a question, but after Predator 2, they have just kind of expanded and expanded and expanded on the Predators of the Predators. We had Super Predators in The Predator. We had The Predator. Uh, there's a lot of options when it comes to decking out the Predator, not just in exactly what technology they bring, but also in the basic makeup of the creature anymore. Now, that brings the question, like, what are we going to see here? There, it is very open, it's just a little tease, but there's a lot that you can kind of take in from this. Of course, we're dealing with Native Americans, they're saying this is a prequel, so of course this is going to be quite in the past. Now, how far in the past exactly what they're dealing with? I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet the very pistol from the end of Predator 2 is going to make an appearance. That exact one will be in this movie. That's just, I got a feeling. I have absolutely nothing to back it up other than the fact that the timeline seems to be right. But also you got to take into account exactly where the uh, current climate is in Predator. Now the Predator, I didn't really like it that much in case you forgot. And it seems that a lot of people were also kind of on board with that wasn't necessarily the best one. Now, Predators, not too many people liked that when it first came out either, but over time, especially since The Predator came out, it's garnered its own little fan base and such. I personally did enjoy Predators, but I did say that the Reliance on homages was just really heavy in that, and that's something that I would like to see them kind of back away from. Now, to be fair, The Predator kind of did its own thing in a major way, and people really didn't care for that all that much. So I'm gonna assume that Prey, they're probably gonna have quite a few more homages, for better or worse. But that's one of the homages I am absolutely certain is going to be there, is going to be the pistol from Predator 2. But there is an interesting little comment I see on the t trailer here on YouTube. Uh, this person is saying that this should be the first Predator movie that the Predator wins in. It makes all the sense in the world. Now, 
The Predator didn't necessarily win in any Predator movie, but uh, they don't really have to, because there are a ton of them. There are a lot of Predators in the Predator universe. They are an entire alien species. They have their own planet. We see that in AVP Requiem. And uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of them to go around. And if they are facing something tough enough to beat them, that makes for an interesting story, more so than the Predators just win. Like, yeah, a horror movie where the bad guy wins can be interesting, but would that make a Predator movie more interesting than something that can beat a Predator, even though we technically have seen the something that can beat a Predator story you know, four times by now? Or six, if you count the APPs. Or only five, because technically it was the nuke that took out the Predator in Requiem. But of course, with my reaction to The Predator, there is the question of, hey, what do I think of the Prey teaser? And I think it doesn't show enough for me to really have a feeling of exactly what quality movie we're going to be getting here. Now, one of the things about it is it's coming out on Hulu. So it's not a theatrical release, so far as I can tell. And that does me a bit of a concern. It's more of a made-for-TV sequel, and... Generally, that hasn't been something that I've been associating with quality throughout my life. Now, TV today is a lot different than TV was in the 90s and made for TV movies in the 90s or even the early 2000s. So, something that's coming out directly to Hulu has a better chance of being really good. It has a better chance of pushing that hard R and just doing the most you can with the property. There are plenty of movies that come out straight to streaming services and are very high quality. So I gotta let my own prejudices like check them at the door when it comes to watching Prey and understanding it is effectively a made-for-TV movie for the modern era. Now because they show so little of it though, that does mean that whatever prejudices you have going into it you're not going to find anything to really dissuade that. So there are plenty of people who are like, oh no, uh, Predator's going to be taken out by a bow, probably. I don't know, the, it's the, the first Predator, the Predator got at least injured with a bow, so you know, what's the big deal there? But yeah, it's, you know, I, I don't know, it's, it, it is what it is. The Predator's probably going to be taken out in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's generally how it's done. That's, that's what happens. The Predator ends up going through all of their arsenal, all of, the, all of their combat repertoire, and then it comes down to fisticuffs and outsmarting them and just a human coming through at the end, and there you go. That's kind of how Predator things work out. Also, you gotta run like heck because that thing blows up with its little wrist thing. It's The, the Predator smart watches something else. Just go like boop, 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 and hoo you better... You better have been practicing your cardio for a while before that, because you're not going to get much chances later. So in short, since there's really not too much to dig into, not too much to talk about with the Prey trailer and, you know, Prey teaser, really, um, what did all you think might be coming here? What have you seen that I might have missed? Was, it was, was that a PSE bow that they were pulling and I just didn't check the uh, branding on it? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't look that hard, honestly. But it looks interesting. It looks like a Predator sequel that we've all kind of wanted since the end of Predator 2. So, add something to look forward to, I think. I'm hoping that it's a, the conflict between the natives and the European settlers, like, boom, there's your war. We've got a big heat wave coming in. Need that, please have that part of the Predator lore still respected. And whew, here comes the Predators for the hunt. Gonna get a lot of trophies out of this and gonna get a nice interesting story to follow with a badass who takes out a Predator. That's what I'm hoping for. So leave in the comments what you think might be coming or what you might be hoping for. Or if you're really not interested in what you're seeing, it's all, it's all worth talking about. But speaking of things worth talking about in the Predator universe, I have reviewed plenty of Predator movies, and one of my most popular reviews would be the review of The Predator. Didn't really, didn't really like that one all that much, to be honest with you. But you might like, you might like the uh, review I gave of it. Even the one I had just in the car talking when I uh, 
just watched it. That that uh, that got age restricted by YouTube for violent content. I was just talking in the car, <laughs> but they thought it was a little too heated, so you might have to search kind of hard for that one. But otherwise, you can just check out whatever else YouTube wants you to see. Thank you all for watching. I've been Decker Shadow, and remember.